Any means? Ah. Hai Wan. Hai Wan. Hai Wan. Hai Wan. Nice. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Good. Oh, that's good. Okay. You come to Thailand, Tuk Tuk. Yes. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Nomadic Mahesh with the new video. This is Mahesh. In today's video, I will show you how to cope up with car taxis, bike taxis, tuk-tuks, share autos, boat taxis in Bangkok and Pattaya cities like a local. I will also tell you when and how to use these taxis and whether there are any apps like Uber and Ola here. First, let's see what options we have in Bangkok city. Car taxis with different colors are seen everywhere in Bangkok like rainbow colors. You can see single color, double color and all these are codes. These color codes will be different for rental taxis, company taxis and personal taxis. The meter fare is the same no matter which color taxi you take. If you see a taxi, look for the red or green neon light in the front window. If it is on, it means it's available. Just raise or wave your hand to stop the taxi. When the taxi stops, before getting into it, the first thing you should check with the driver is whether he will turn on the meter or not. If he says no, don't get in. If you board without asking, the driver will ask you more money. The reason for saying this is, sometimes you have to board a taxi immediately once it stops on these busy roads. So if you don't agree to turn on the meter, just take the next one. There are plenty of taxis available in Bangkok. Here the starting meter fare is 35 Thai baht per kilometer and then meter changes at the rate of 2 Thai baht. From 1 to 10 kilometers, the meter rate will be same. After that, the meter rate will be more. This means the more distance you travel, the higher the meter rate will be per kilometer. Waiting time and toll charges are added to this. So keep all this in mind when you decide to take a taxi. Some taxi drivers don't turn on the meter, they say fixed prices. They mostly stand in front of hotels and near tourist attractions. So if you walk to the nearest road, meter taxis will be found for sure. If they don't understand the destination address or if there is a traffic on the route you need to go or if they don't understand your language, they reject the ride. And also they don't understand if you tell them the name of your hotel. If you tell the area name and sign number of the hotel, they will take you easily. Take a photo of the yellow board with the driver details, whether you are taking a nighttime journey or females traveling alone in any taxi. So this is the story of car taxis. Next is Tuk Tuk taxis. These Tuk Tuks looks like our autos, but they are very powerful and stylish. They will not have meters, all fixed prices. They charge a minimum of 50 Thai baht. Basically, these are mostly used by tourists just for a fun ride. They ask more than car taxis mostly. These Tuk Tuk drivers are very friendly and funny. My name is? Uh, Hai Wan. Hai Wan. Hai Wan. Hai Wan. Yeah. Nice. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Good. Oh, that's good. Okay. You come to Thailand, Tuk Tuk? Yes. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You are super fast. <laughs> Where are you come from, sir? I come from um, India, Bangalore. Bangalore. When they find out that you are here for the holidays, they start their business. They will show you their menu board and start asking like shall I take you there or shall we go here. These menu boards change depending on the area where they are located. It means based on what kind of entertainment available in that area, they will have the menu boards with the available services. The driving is very rash. Nighttime ride will be very fun in these tuk-tuks with the all side open and with different colored lightings. Whenever I come to Bangkok, I take this tuk-tuk ride at least once. So when you come to Bangkok, you must try this tuk-tuk ride. Next is bike taxis. These are the best option for you to go anywhere quickly in Bangkok's busy traffic. They are also super fast and rash driving. I took this bike taxi once and decided not to take again in Bangkok. He scared me a lot by driving crazily between small small gaps. Next comes to the boat taxi. If you are staying riverside, then boat taxi is the better option to go anywhere. In these also, there are prices depending upon the boats. It is also a different experience. Bangkok's last option is share auto. You will not find these in the main city center. After passing the main areas of Bangkok or in a proper local Thai neighborhood only, you can find them. The price is the same wherever you get on and get off on the route they go. It is 10 Thai baht. These are called Sang Thai or Sumuru. Like this, the route name will be mentioned above for each vehicle. Using this Sumuru, you can travel at low cost. 
in bangkok you can book bike taxi or car taxi through mobile apps like uber they come to your location and pick you up as far as i know grab and bolt apps are famous in bangkok the main difference between these apps is if you book on grab you will get the ride faster but the cost is more in bolt you can get it for less price but you have to wait so you can use any app as per your convenience it is better to book taxi from the airport to the hotel using these apps because you will know how much it will cost before taking the ride booking airport taxi will be more expensive and using these apps is very easy these are the transportation options that we get to move around local in bangkok coming to pattaya city sangthai or bath buses are mostly used by tourists and locals some people call these as pattaya tuk tuk we have these bath buses in many routes like central pattaya sai buka this is also like a share auto it is 10 thai baht for boarding and alighting in their route there are hundreds of bath buses are available in pattaya city just raise the hand and get into it once it stops you can press this bell wherever you wanted to get off once the driver stops get down pay the money that's it car taxis are also available here but they do not turn on meter all are fixed prices if you don't want to use these bath buses you can use car taxi next is bike taxis you can find these bike taxis at every corner in pattaya city they charge a minimum of 50 thai baht bike taxis are better if you want to go somewhere quickly when you board or go near to them they start asking like we go there or we'll take you to that parlor and all bike taxis are better if you are staying in pattaya for a long time and want to explore the surrounding areas but many taxi drivers do not speak english well So this is the detailed information about the taxi options available for getting around the Bangkok and Pattaya cities in Thailand. If you like my content please support me through join button or thanks button. You can find many videos about Bangkok and Pattaya cities information in my Thailand series playlist. Please watch them and they will be very useful for your next Thailand trip. If you like this video please like comment share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Nomadic Mahesh. Thank you.